Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to How To Hockey. This is the seventh installment of the Deke of the Week. In this video, I'm going to teach you one of my favorite Deeks. I use it quite a bit in games, and it's uh, one of my favorite uh, moves to pull on a defender when he's skating backwards. If I want to beat him, uh, I'm going to get right to it and show you how to do this awesome Deke. This is a great Deke if the defenseman is skating backwards with you because he's going to be matching your speed. And what you want to do is make the defenseman move and then move to the opposite side that the defenseman's moving. So one quick way is to bring the puck over here, or if you're already skating with the puck over here, you wait until the defenseman moves for it, and then you can move the puck underneath the stick, and then you go past him on the other side. So the two ways to do it is your stick handle this way, and move like you're going to go this way, the defenseman starts to move his stick, and you go underneath him, and you're gone. The next way is if you're already over here, the defenseman moves the stick, you go underneath, and you're gone. A uh, very important thing is that when you're uh, putting the puck underneath the stick, you have to move it directly across because that's uh, that way he can't get it with the skates. If you put it on an angle, he's going to catch it with the uh, skates. Here is the move in action, and Ken knows the move's coming, so it's not like I catch him really flat-footed. But I also just don't have him standing there like a pylon, so you actually see what it looks like in action. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few different ways that I do the move here. On this one, I'm going to fake to the right. Uh, leave the puck there for just a slight second and then pull it across. So you can see I kind of leave it there just to give that defenseman hope that he can get it. Once he gets moving, you quickly move in the other direction. Here I'm leaning out, so I'm leaning like I'm going to go around to the right side, wait for the defenseman to move the puck, pull it under his stick. Uh, I'm just going to toe drag him here for jokes, and I will show the toe drag in another Deke of the Week, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, this one, again, sort of faking like I'm going to go to the right hand side and then pull it underneath the stick. I like to do the push pull motion. Uh, something that I'll explain in the key points and also uh, there's a few other really important things so I'm just going to pause this here and talk about key points. Key points of this move, I'm going to go into a bit more detail but I'll do it quickly just to help you guys get a bit more of an understanding of the move and I'll toss in a few tips that work for me. So the first tip is that this is easier to do on a player who is the opposite handedness of you. So I'm right, Ken's left. Um, basically it's just how he's going to be holding a stick and how he's going to sweep his stick at me it makes it a lot easier if they're the opposite hand of you. So if you're going down the ice, you notice the guy shoots the same way and you'll catch on to this really quickly when you start doing this move. Uh, if he's the same hand, you might want to try a different move, but if he's the opposite hand, this is really easy to do. Uh, the next one is the push then pull. Basically when you're doing this move, there's two obstacles you have to avoid. The player's stick and the player's skates. So if you pull the move too quickly without doing the push, you're going to put the puck right into a stick, he's going to knock it off. So what I like to do is push the puck forward just a little bit before I pull this move, uh, if I'm not already in a good position. So just push the puck forward about a foot, that gets it out of his uh, zone, where his blade is going to be when he's sweeping, and then comes the pull. So now you're going to pull the puck across, and that brings me to the next point, which is the puck should travel parallel to the opponent's skates. Uh, basically, if you put a stick across the player's toes, uh, that would make a line, you want to bring the puck across that line because if you bring it in on an angle, then you're going to hit the player's skates. So that's your, how you're going to avoid the player's skates and a stick. You, you push the puck and then you pull it across a little bit, pull it across on a straight line. You're going to almost always beat the player. Uh, next one is that you can do a deke first or you can bait the D. So if you want, stick handle with the puck in front of you, deke to the right or to the left, whichever hand you are, and then uh, push the puck a little bit, pull it across uh, his underneath the stick. Or if you want to bait the D, you just kind of leave the puck right out there. Uh, like, hey, hey, come get this puck. When he goes to move forward, pull it across. Uh, make it quick. You want to pull that puck quickly across. If you pull it slowly, it gives him time to hit you or hit the puck or kick the puck or hit it with the stick. So pull it across quickly. Um, and one last thing is that this move is great when a player is matching your speed. So I've showed you a bunch of moves that are good if you kind of catch the guy flat-footed. This is really good if he's matching your speed and you want to deke him out. That's it. Thanks a lot for tuning in to the Deke of the Week. Don't forget, go out, practice, 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 and that's automatic. You can do it by heart. And come back next week, there's going to be another Deke of the Week. Thanks a lot for watching. Check out howtohockey.com. You can subscribe to our blog, and you can also subscribe to our video channel. Thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next video.